What's up, amigos? We're back with another Dive in Life tutorial. And this week, we're going to talk about the vocal stretching. It's a great technique to create some interesting vocals in your track. So check out this track. You probably heard it in my previous uh, tutorial. Check it out. So this is the track and this concentrate happens a lot of times. And I was at some point I th thought like, how cool would it be if it if it's different every time? So I went in and in the beginning, it's, it's gonna be all right, like also in the breaks, maybe better to hear, it will be like this. So how do we do this? You know, why is this one stuttering and the other one is not? Well, the secret is warp markers and warping it on beats instead of on complex because on complex it won't work. So let's take the original one. Let's say this guy, let's solo it. Concentrate. And it just says concentrate. I've automated the clip, so it's not gonna be every time. So it's, it has some breaks in between. Uh, but the key is to have it on, on beat. So if I want to change this concentrate. concentrate to something else, I could just place a warp marker here, place one here, and just stretch it out. Concentrate. Nice. Then we take the next one, put it back, and say, uh, let's say here, and then it's going to do this. Concentrate. And this one is going to be... Concentrate. See, so you can get different variations by triggering the um, the loop differently to have the, the beginning normal, now the end, you know, to have it like this. Also cool. So this way you can get super a lot of variations just by you using the warping. And you can create a warp marker just by double clicking and then moving it around. And every time you have one and you create another one, it will stretch that part out. And this part will be the closer it gets to there, the faster that will go. And this will go slower. So this is a really interesting technique. I think it's super cool to play around with this, you know. Um, uh, you can you can deploy this maybe also like on more musical elements and just see what happens if you you put it on beats and stretch it out. Maybe you get some cool effect which you can use in your track later on. So this is a short and powerful tutorial once again. If you like it, please subscribe, share the channel with your friends, follow the Lessons in Live website, lessonsinlive.com, where I have loads of preset packs and sample packs and templates for you. Um, there's also masterclasses, more masterclasses will be added soon. And uh, follow the Facebook group. I have a Facebook group online where I have about 1,000 people in a group. We share questions, we share plugins or ideas, you know, um, things that we find online, blogs, that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, I do the Dive in Live streams. We'll be back in September uh, with some artists. Uh, I do interviews and they show their projects. So make sure to stay tuned. Hope to see you in the next tutorial.